So this is actually the only picture I have of this piece that was installed by Revs Super Sport. And this is a hard copy. Um, when I used to walk around Dumbo taking pictures with a film camera. I don't remember what year it was from, early 2000s, but I remember the last time I used film was 2004, so it was probably like 2004, 2003. We got this, 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 um, this Archie Bunker, rest in peace. This was a, this was a really famous one, the scope piece in the background. That one, I mean, that corner is there on the building still, but it looks nothing like that anymore. This is Rev's Tab Peak. I mean, it was a little shinier. Got this one was in the same neighborhood. I forget which ledge this was on. I've taken video of this block, this piece of art. It's a metal sculpture welded into the side of a building on a railing. It's been here for a good 20 years. And uh, recently, I just happened to walk by and it, it's uh, removed. Someone cut it out and stole it. And I think it's pretty fun that, funny that they uh, actually put the security footage pictures all around the thing. Now I have my my uh, guesses of who put the pictures here, and the reason people steal this, went and stole this piece, is because they think they're gonna get money for it. So my my whole thing is, I'm not doing this uh, putting this in a video to, you know, be a hero or say, or even I don't even care who did it. Yeah, that's not the point. What's done is done. You know, there's, there's no uh, reversing it. I've heard instances where, you know, sometimes people return, return. It doesn't matter. I don't even think, even if you were to return the piece, I don't even think anyone cares. That's the point of, that's the point of me making this video. No one cares. It's more of a, it's more of just a impact on the, the value of the influence is more, is far more valuable than a, what, than mon a monetary value that's not even going to take a wild guess if you were to get some money for, for something like this it's not it's not even worth it. that's it and, you know money's temporary graffiti's temporary nothing lasts forever but when you force something to to be when you force something and that's that's the part that is kind of people are ignorant about and you know there's a lot of uh the culture vultures whatever, whatever phrase you want is and it's not even about graffiti it's not even about it's about you walk around Dumbo right now. Dumbo is so stale. Depends what your area of interest in interest is. Yeah, sure. There's lots of nice stores to go shopping. This is a in. really classic one as well. I mean, this this has been here forever. Peak, Tab, Revs. I mean, they they really pretty much dominated like this area of Brooklyn, Dumbo, and Tab was Tabitha, Diva, Vic Crew. She passed away a couple years ago. Peak Vic Crew Revs. This is this is like the last of the last of like literally the last of real New York. People always talking about real New York this, real New York that. This is all that's left. It's an old T-Kid poster, Terrible Kid, 170. It's wild. A lot of history right here. Last time anyone's gonna see this, the inside of this place. Probably gonna dump, do demolition. Yo, 
I just take pictures. I used to hang out here. This is the backyard. A lot of history went down here. We've got a Checker 170 tag right here. The last of the last anyone's ever going to see this. Look at this. Boots. It's like got a Boots 119 tag right there. Surf FBA 2011 painted this. I'm gonna finish looking at this because the guys are coming in and out. I wanna take this poster too, but honestly, it's gonna get all ripped up. Yeah, I got a lot of memories from this backyard. I'll, I'll throw in some clips. I have a couple of really small edits that I made at the time. I want to say it's like 2012, 2014. I actually never got a tattoo here, but I used to buy paint from here. They used to sell shirts. They did piercings. This is crazy though. It's the last of the last of the Bronx.